Hey y'all, this is Southern Woods here. Welcome to another Ages of Conflict War simulation. This is the U.S. map, but instead of 50 states, there are 123. So what I did here, I went through each state and said, huh, I think it would look better if it was split down this way or split this way. And then I would rename the areas that I split. For example, Georgia, you know, my home state, I split in all sorts of ways. I made Atlanta its own state, North Georgia is its own state, Piedmont is its own state. I gave the Okefenokee region its own state. City of Savannah is its own state. South Georgia is its own state. And I did this with most of the states. Some I didn't really feel like they were split in any good direction. So um, Vermont, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Rhode Island, they're all just the same. Maine, just the same. Kentucky, for the most part, is the same. Um, and there's a couple others like that. Uh, but there are some splits. Let's just go throughout, you know, briefly check out some of the different ones. For example, Pensacola is its own state, Tallahassee, state of Duval for uh, northern Florida, Orlando, Tampa, Florida itself is just kind of that middle southern section. Miami's its own state. And we got some all we got North Hoosier for northern Indiana. All right. Chicago's its own state. St. Paul's its own state. We got Lakeland. For northern Minnesota, and then Minnesota is now just the southern part. I I'm I'm here to piss everyone off. I'm sure a lot of people will be pissed off from this. Um, I look at Tennessee. Look how split up that guy is. All the big cities are just their own states. California looks kind of cool. I think I I made it pretty pretty. Um, Olympia is its own thing. I mean, yeah, there's all sorts of different nuances in different states. Rocky Top is its own state over here. Aspen, Mountain, Mormania for those uh, Mormons up in the mountains. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. This wasn't meant to please anyone, but if you are pleased by the way it looks, maybe you really like this weird jagged edge being Corpus Crispy. <laughs> Corp Corpus Christi. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. We're going to run it up. Which new state do you fall under? Are you a West or East Ohio state? Are you the state of Buffalo? I don't know. Let's just run this shit up and see how y'all like it. All right. We're going to have to slow this down. 123 states is a lot to keep up with. Um, of course, the race for... Um, the Gulf of Mexico is huge. We got some battles between Maine and New Hampshire. Uh, the two, Some of the two states that didn't change at all. We got West Virginia against East Ohio. And then it looks like we got Nebraska. What's left of it and what's left of Kansas going against each other. Alright, we got New Mexico and Dallas. Beefing right now. Alright, we got this little state of Burbenton. All right, Nebraska. <laughs> Poor Nebraska is going to be the first state to fall. Oh, man. Poor Nebraska. All right, who who will be next? we got some fighting in the Rockies between Crow Nation, Potato Land, and Salt Lake. Oh, man. Oh, well, i got to change this. Uh, I want only defeats to be showing up. Okay. New Springfield was defeated by Iowa. Atlanta has fallen by the rest of Piedmont. Uh, the Suburbanites were sick and tired of Atlanta and took it out. We have Pennsylvania being conquered by the state of Erie up here. It looks like Wyoming is going to get taken out by Omaha. Or Omaha, I mean. New York is taken out by Vermont. So, the state of New York is no longer... Uh, Kentucky and Baton Rouge both taken out. Northern Alabama was conquered by Southern Alabama. Um, so Southern Alabama looking kind of big now. Oh, man. Looks like Miami taken over by Florida. Florida retook Miami. Big war between the Republic of Texas and Corpus Christi. Fuck, why do I call it Crispy? Corpus Christi is no longer. Detroit has fallen by the rest of Michigan. Chicago taken out by damn Iowa. So Iowa looking kind of big over there. Mountain more Mountain more mania no longer. So those mountain Mormons are gone. Utah took the rest of them back. West Virginia taken out by West Ohio and South Dakota taken out by Minnesota. So all we have left is North Dakota, uh, the two Dakotas. 
Piedmont moving up into North Georgia. We have Tennessee going against New West Virginia. Uh, it looks like San Fracramento just got taken out by the state of Jefferson. If you can't tell, I mix, mix San Francisco and Sacramento together. Um, already, this is crazy. Looks like South Alabama taken out by the Piedmont. Meanwhile, North Northern Rapids taken out by North Dakota and Rocky Top taken out by Utah. Utah is trying to reconnect the whole Rocky Mountain base. Lakeland taken out by Wisconsin. Memphis taken out by Little Rock. 101 nations left. All right, Colorado couldn't make it to the top 100 because Wichita took them out. Let's look at the statistics here. This has been a doozy of a time already. We have Arizona being the largest, technically, followed by New Mexico. Where the hell's New Mexico at, man? Oh, New Mexico's just a slightly different color than... Oh, wait, no, Roswell's this little dot. Yes, Roswell, New Mexico is its own state because of the Area 51 aliens. Uh, Nevada's pretty big, too, and Montana up here. Let's look at the economy here. We have Montana being the richest, okay, followed by Iowa, North Dakota, and Wisconsin. So it's kind of interesting. The actual 50 states are doing really well, and some of their uh, fractions haven't been doing as good. So let's see where this ends up. We have Gulf Shores conquered by Mobile. San Diego taken out by L.A. Oklahoma taken out by Tulsa. It's kind of interesting when these city states take out the actual states. Baltimore taken out by Maryland or the other way around. Rhode Island conquered by Boston. So Boston uh, getting a little bigger than the Northeast. And Orlando conquered by Tampa. So Tampa has this middle section of Florida now. I'm trying to keep up with everything the best I can. These big simulations, there's a lot to go over. Uh... So, you know, all sorts of battles are going on, but I usually don't get to them until someone died. Like Louisiana being taken out by Arkansas, which is looking kind of tall, looking shaped weirdly. Coastal Carolina taken out by Raleigh. Um, so Raleigh got most of that North Carolina, except actual North Carolina is this little sliver now. Uh, big war between North Dakota and West Dakota. West Dakota is a thing now. Uh, New Hampshire taken out by Maine. So Vermont, Maine looking a little bigger. Oh, it looks like South Phoenix may be taken out by Arizona. Yes, Arizona looking really big now. Meanwhile, Portland taken out by Seattle. State of Jefferson is going to get a lot of that. West Ohio taken out by Michigan. So Michigan moving south. Oh, man. What will happen next? We got uh, Potato Land and Salt Lake going at each other. Uh... Amarillo just got conquered by Wichita, and then Green Bay taken out by Wisconsin, moving up this little peninsula, and Houston taken out by the Republic of Texas, going old school in them history books. We just had a couple big ones fall, Oregon conquered by Washington, so they're going to get bigger, and then Wichita uh, finally taken out by Tulsa, so... Wichita was doing good for a second. Charleston taken out by Savannah. So Savannah moves up into South Carolina. We have uh, Sioux Falls taken out by Omaha. And then Seattle taken out by Olympia. Washington, D.C. no longer. New West Virginia took them out. So all the politicians, uh, they have been displaced. They have to move elsewhere. Uh, meanwhile, we have Bismarck taken out by West Dakota. West Dakota Maybe the only Dakota soon enough. Uh, a lot just happened. New Orleans taken out by Mobile. So Mobile's taken out some of these uh, southern coastal city states. Meanwhile, Tennessee officially conquered by Bourbonton. So Bourbonton did a little wrap around and took out the official state of Tennessee. All right, one more will fall and we'll have 75 states left. Big battle up here between Iowa, Minnesota, St. Paul, and Wisconsin. Minnesota is not going to make the top 75 because Iowa expanded. Let's check out the statistics now. We have Arizona being the richest or the largest still, followed by New Mexico still, and Iowa and Montana. Uh, richest is going to be Iowa, Wisconsin, Montana, Arizona, then Mississippi. So, Still, these actual states probably doing the best, okay? 
versus some of the other ones. But St. Paul, I mean, they're duking it out with uh, Wisconsin up there. Shout out St. Paul. Um, see what happens next. Do I dare speed it up? I may not be able to keep up with it going normal speed, but we shall see. Wisconsin taken out by St. Paul. So good job, St. Paul, actually doing something here. Raleigh taken out by New West Virginia, who actually has a few deaths to their name. Um, so they're doing good. Uh, looks like Superior, the state of Superior, taken out by St. Paul as well. St. Paul looking kind of big. Dallas conquered by the Republic of Texas. So those classic Texans. Uh, old school Texans wrecking house now. All right. Vegas just conquered by LA. So LA uh, continues their streak of terror, pissing people off. South Georgia has now fallen by the Piedmont. So the state of Piedmont doing good. North Georgia's had to, like, I don't know, move into former Tennessee land. Meanwhile, Potato Land, no, not Potato Land, taken out by Salt Lake. Oh, the potato farmers have fallen. All right, what will happen next? We have a lot of fighting out east. Maryland was taken out by Virginia. A little state-on-state -state action going on. Tulsa and Kansas have been duking it out for a second. Piedmont and North Georgia as well. Little Rock trying to move into Mississippi. Um, we have some border gore in the northwest between Washington and Olympia and Jefferson. New Jersey conquered by Philadelphia. So New Jersey is no longer... Uh, Roswell finally taken out by New Mexico. Area 51 has been eliminated. North Carolina taken out by New West Virginia. New West Virginia has been kind of a dark horse. They've been messing messing up some things. New York City taken out by Long Island. I'm sure there's some New York cultural differences going on there. Um, Arizona taken out by LA. So that was the top state by size gone. California taken out by LA. So Los Angeles is just having their way with everyone. Meanwhile, the Okefenokee Swamp officially taken out by the Piedmont. So now the Piedmont only has to take care of North Georgia and Savannah before owning all of Georgia. Meanwhile, Idaho taken out by Washington and Aspen taken out by Rock Springs. So that good old ski resort town is no longer Rock Springs now owning it. All right. Who's your bets on as we approach the top 50? It shouldn't be East Ohio because they are taken out by the state of Erie. And it shouldn't be Pensacola because Mobile continues their coastal tear. Nashville taken out by Little Rock. So the country city, country music city is no longer. All right. What's going to happen now? Vermont and Maine duking it out. They've been going back and forth. All right. Ooh, Montana taken out by the Crow Nation, one of the few Native American uh, states of their own. Meanwhile, Utah taken out by Salt Lake. Uh, some more Mormons perish um, as the Salt Lakers do their thing. Uh, Duval, state of Duval taken out by Tampa. So all those Jags fans um, no longer with us. And then Illinois taken out by Little Rock. So now we have 50 states left, just like in our own timeline. How many actual states are still a part of it? We have Vermont, we have Maine, I see. South Carolina is still a thing. Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, New Mexico, uh, Washington, North Dakota, Nevada. We have some actual states still alive in the top 50. Iowa is the largest, followed by Los Angeles, Omaha, and St. Paul. Oh, wait, those are the richest. The largest being Los Angeles, New Mexico, Tulsa, and Crow Nation. So, things are shaking up now. Things are shaking up now. Olympia may be the next to fall. They are. Olympia has fallen to Washington. Missouri's going to fall to Tulsa. Tulsa's looking kind of big in the middle there now. All my Tulsa residents, shout out to you. The Rio Grande finally making a move up in New Mexico. Meanwhile, St. Paul had a good run, but North Dakota decides to take them out. Michigan and Iowa are going to benefit. North Georgia taken out by Mississippi. What the fuck? No, man. Well, looks like I'm a Mississippian now. Tallahassee conquered by Mobile. Mobile continues their slow conquering of the southern coast. Meanwhile, Denver taken out by Kansas. The Cornfield State starting to do their own little thing. We have 44 states left now. 
what's going to happen as I speed things up. Boston taken out by Connecticut. So those Bostonians no longer with us. We have Tulsa having to escape the wrath of the Republic of Texas. Republic of Texas looking big. Vermont taken out by Maine. Maine has sole control of that far northeastern tip. And Burbenton taken out by Mississippi. Mississippi ruining all the fun as they uh, take out South Carolina as well. New Mexico taken out by the Republic of Texas. Old history buffs really grinning right now as the Republic of Texas does their thing. Oh boy. We have Piedmont taken out by Mississippi. So Savannah, the only Georgian state left. And Indiana taken out by Little Rock. Looks like Iowa is going to fall to Michigan. Iowa is no longer. They had a pretty good run. Knoxville taken out by New West Virginia, who's still holding in strong. Florida still around, but not for long as Tampa takes them out. Buffalo is going to fall to Maine. Creole, the state of Creole, fell to Mobile. All right. Uh, Little Rock falls to Arkansas. And Nevada gets taken over by the state of Jefferson. Helena is now taken out by Crow Nation. Long Island taken out by Connecticut. Connecticut's taken a lot of those big cities out. And now they've taken over Long Island as well. Speed this up a little bit more. Let's see what happens. We have Salt Lake and Washington going at North, North Dakota and the Crow Nation. West Dakota struggling against Omaha and so is some others. We have Connecticut falling to Maine. So Maine running strong now. Ooh, Arkansas has been conquered by Mississippi. We have 25 states left. Los Angeles being the largest right now, followed by Mississippi, Michigan, and the Republic of Texas, who is a little smaller now. The richest being North Dakota, Mississippi, Republic of Texas, and Michigan. So we have our top 25. Wager your bets. Who will come out on top? I'm not going to check the statistics anymore, probably. We have Savannah being conquered by Mississippi. Shout out Savannah being the sole survivor state of Georgia until then. West Dakota conquers North Dakota. They're the only Dakota left. Meanwhile, Salt Lake being chased out by Rock Springs. Michigan losing a lot of territory to Kansas. Erie taken out by Maine. Washington taken out by the state of Jefferson. Philadelphia taken out by Maine. We have 20 states left now. Jefferson moving into L.A. These state of Jefferson folks have been waiting for this moment for a long time. Meanwhile, North Hoosier taken out by Mississippi. Mississippi wrecking house. Rio Grande taken out by the Republic of Texas. Salt Lake conquered by Jefferson. Omaha conquered by West Dakota. All right, Massachusetts struggling against Maine. Meanwhile, Tampa conquered by Mobile, finally making its huge move. They've been slowly chipping away at the South Coast. Now they have sole control of Florida. Mississippi, they're pushing people around. Michigan's looking real small now. We'll see if they can do anything to fight back here. Meanwhile, L.A. has fallen. L.A. has fallen. The state of Jefferson folks have finally done it. Meanwhile, Mississippi pushing Mobile out. Mobile has fallen. They had a good run, but they did not survive. Mississippi took them out. Crow Nation was conquered by West Dakota. Oh, no. The Republic of Texas is falling to fucking Kansas. Oh, the corn state... Looks like they're going to take out the Republic of Texas. We have 10 nations left uh, with the Yenzers being taken out by Maine. So all those Pittsburgh Yenzers are done for. We have West Dakota. We have the state of Jefferson, Rock Springs, Kansas, Mississippi, New West Virginia, Michigan, Delaware, Maine, and Massachusetts. So three, four, five, five out of the 10 are states in real life 
We will see who comes out on top. Will it be one of the newly formed states by me, or will it be another one? Delaware conquered by New West Virginia. Rock Springs conquered by Kansas. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. See what happens here. Maine and Massachusetts been going at it for a long time. New West Virginia making a little bit of push. Michigan growing bigger finally. Ooh, helping Massachusetts out, push out Maine. Maine's going to fall. Maine is no longer. Ooh, Michigan really f fucked them over. Meanwhile, Mississippi shrinking to Kansas. New West Virginia pushing into Michigan. West Dakota pushing in into Kansas. Who will it be? Who will it be? Ooh, now Mississippi making a push. Meanwhile, Michigan making a push. Everyone's pushing and pushing around. But who will be the last state in town? I'm not a rapper. I'm a poet. Meanwhile, Massachusetts taken out by New West Virginia. Uh, Mississippi conquered by Michigan. West Dakota's going to fall now. We have New West Virginia, Michigan, Kansas, Jefferson, Michigan's gone. Kansas, the corn state, may be the next to fall. It could be the state of Jefferson. It's the state of Jefferson versus New West Virginia. Who will win? Oh, boy. The state of Jefferson. This may be their fucking time to shine. It's been a proposed state in real life many times. The northern third of California breaking off from the rest. Oh no, but the new West Virginians, they are now pushing back. Come on, you're fighting for your right to be a new state. Maybe I can sign something and send it to Congress saying, look at the evidence. Look at the evidence. Look how strong of a state they'd be. Although that'd probably, that'd probably cause Congress to just turn it down. Even more, let's be honest. Um, anyways, Jefferson now coming back. New West Virginia's economy has collapsed. Who will it be? Will it be the state of Jefferson? Will it be New West Virginia? It looks like Jefferson is going to cross over the Appalachian Mountains and take out New West Virginia. Any second now, New West Virginia will fall. And they do. So shout out to the state of Jefferson. This isn't just one I've made up. Historically, it's been a, a proposed state before. And now they have victory. Out of 123 states, only one survives. And that is the state of Jefferson. So like if you like this video. If you're part of that northern third of California, hit me up in the comments. And if you want to see more of these simulations, let me know if you want to see this one specifically run up again. Like the hell out of it. Comment. Let me know you want to see it again in a future video. Until next time, y'all. Southern Woods out.